All right, here we are, Rainmaker Studios. Oh, look what we have here. Mr. Luke Basil, studio engineer, manager. Welcome, yeah, please, please wipe off your feet. Wiping off the snow off of my feet. So here we have it, we're right in the entrance. There it is, Rainmaker Studios. You can set yourself down if you're waiting for, you know, your act to finish up. That's right. So uh, yeah, let's uh, show us around here, Luke. Come this way, Okay. Come this way. This is the little waiting room. Lounge area. Lounge got room. A Nintendo 64. Nice. With GoldenEye only. GoldenEye only, yes. Okay. This is a step up from the PC version. That's right. Uh, but if you PC, if you guys, yeah, remember the little, PC uh, version. little kitchenette here. Yeah. So you can fix up your food. We got some complimentary beverages in the fridge. Mm -hmm. uh, you help yourself here at Rainmaker Studios. We got yeah. some lukewarm water. Snack bar. Yeah, very Luke, nice. Lukewarm water for the vocalists. Nice, yes, anyway. yes. Of every, I want to point out something here. They're also they're taking care of it. They have cell phone chargers already ready to go for both types of phone, iPhones and everything else. That's right. Yeah, okay. iPhones and the other things. <laughs> All right, let's go on into the meat and potatoes of this operation okay. here. Of course, we have the, uh, the restroom. Boring. Restroom. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. All right. Here we are. This is our. This is the first booth you'll walk into here. This is the guitar booth for the most part. As you can see, we could do uh, we could do you know a vocal in here or yeah or other things, but uh, calling this the guitar booth, okay? Okay. Got a few nice guitars in here. We got some Ernie Balls. The studio's an Ernie Ball partner. We've got a Breedlove here. We're a Breedlove partner as well. And uh, beautiful. Yeah. Got Love this, that one. We got this classic Gibson jumbo. Yes, I actually played that on um, an acoustic track about 15 years ago uh, for nice. uh, 16 years ago for if I have my way. That was that was that guitar. Mm -hmm. Brooke had a thing. Don't ever change the strings. We actually had, to, had to. Yeah, yeah, you heard the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard the Finally story. had to change them. Yeah. Uh, the story is we had to change the strings the other day because at our open house, a young toddler put his sucker into the sound hole. You know, yeah, things happen. Risk things, that, things is, happen. that is the risk of an open house. That it was all fine and dandy. Okay, <laughs> enter the control room. Yes, the control room. Okay, uh, let me remove my jacket here. Well, I mean, that's your spot, so okay. So here we are. We've got a totally new desk here. We've got uh, the Slate Raven console, touchscreen, um, mixer here, mix and desk, and uh, mm hmm. We've got outboard gear galore. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we spin around. We actually, uh, now this room, I, I had a hand in finishing out some of this. Uh, very well soundproof. This is the, pretty much the deadest room in Pasco. I was... <laughs> <laughs> If you're uh, if you're into sound at all, you know what that means. But uh, not only do we have all the sound treatment, um, it's also completely soundproof. We shut these doors. This is all double walled, um, double walled and sealed glass that goes to the main room. And then also that is a huge bass trap that is completely hollow back there. With their, it has insulation and and things like that. So basically, any low notes get absorbed into there. Uh, so it's a completely controlled room. One of the cool thing in this room is we have some monitors or speakers back here. This enables us to mix in surround or 5.1. Very nice. Not every so studio can do that. Not a lot of studios can do that. No. We've got a lot of speaker options. Got a sub down here. And we're moving into uh, the primary vocal booth here. It's my spot. Yeah, it's a good spot here. This is the Neumann U87. And that's the guy right there. Yeah, that's... that is the guy. Classic microphone. Uh, we got a couple Shure SMBs hanging around, but this is uh, this is a really good dead vocal booth here. Yes, and it's got a cool vibe. Cool vibe. It cool sounds vibe. sounds great. Indeed. <clears throat> and curtains, of course, if mm. you want to be isolated yeah. completely. Totally. Yeah. All right, into the main live room. That's what we call Moving this. Moving out into the big live room. So this is uh, actually, I mean, it's it's a very large room, but it's actually quite dead in town in, in terms of sound. It, there's not a lot to it. It's a really tight echo. 
uh, and it sounds really, really good for this size of a room. Really controllable, but also has some kind of some season to it. Yeah, yeah. I think it turned out really well. Yeah, it's okay to have a little bit of liveness, a little bit of ambience in your live room. And in my book, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of drums in here, maybe some, you know, baby grand. It's okay to have a little bit of reflections in here. Um, yeah, a couple other options for yeah. keys. And yeah, we got the CP70. We've got a MIDI controller housed in an upright. <laughs> um, for looks. Yeah, and then... Lots of lounge areas. Yeah, totally. And then we've got this old Hammond organ with a built-in Leslie, but my favorite feature is the underglow. <laughs> Very nice. And, and some glow up top. Very nice. Let's yeah. get all churchy up in here. That's right. It's built in Leslie. So here's a, a kind of a, a look at the main room. Now, as you as you can see, the control room faces the not only the live room, but the stage. This is an operational stage complete with hanging mains and built in subs. So you could have a concert in here. Yeah. So we've got 32 channels that are trackable on stage. They all get fed to our control room. So 32 channels up here, and then we've got 16 channels here Throughout. on the live floor. You mm -hmm. can do whatever you want with. Yeah. And then we've got four channels in either booth. Plenty. Yeah. So, I mean, tracking a whole band, I mean, any easy. size band, easy. Easy peasy. Yeah. A little percussion station here. Um, this is uh, this is my personal amp here that I brought in. This Paul Reed Smith two channel H. Very nice. Along with my favorite Strat here. This is just a really, really great sounding stack. So what you're saying is people can use that if they wanted to. Yeah. You would you would give them your blessing. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, got to get them. Got to get to know them first. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> you got to ask nicely. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head up on stage. Yeah, there. let's get the full view here. That's my sweat. Of course, the good old DW. Yeah, this DW's been in the Rainmaker family for a long time. Yeah, it's a favorite of ours too. Uh, we've got a nice little uh, deluxe reverb right here, blonde. Blonde. Yeah, I don't see those every day. This is where we just shot the uh, the live video, yeah. our little Tuesday night, with the backdrop of the uh, control booth and ISO booths. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Zach's breed love right here. We got yep, she's yep. a pretty one. And the old concertina. Mm -hmm. We've got a few uh, bass cabs here, and then we've got this really nice white baby grand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds wonderful. Ready to That's go. Well. Just got tuned up. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And then a uh, good old Korg. Kronos, yeah. We're swapping that out here soon. Okay, don't look at that. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful view here. Uh, the ambience is just fantastic. I mean, it's, it's pretty important. Anybody who's worked in a studio very much knows it's got to be comfortable. It's got to feel right. And uh, it's it's got to have that, you know, you just the magic happens in, in here. And, and I think this is a great space for that. Yep. Uh, it's got everything that you need, pretty much. You gotta have the right vibe. Gotta have the right vibe. The vibe is right. And right here in the Northwest, right here in Pasco, Washington, uh, can't get much more centrally located than that for the Northwest. I mean, it's within driving range of, of all the major cities in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to get on an airplane. That's right. Yeah, that's awesome, that's man. Right. All right, well, I think we're going to wrap it up here, but uh, thank you, Mr. Luke Basil, yeah. for your wonderful tour. I want to say thank you, Zach Grooms, because I know that I'm the one in the shot right now, but Zach did so much of this work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears from Zach Grooms. <laughs> Maybe just sweat. Just mostly sweat and some splinters and, yeah. and whatnot, but, but no, Zach, I... Zach did a ton in here. And I he missed out on the last couple of weeks, but I did. I was able to get a lot of the sound treatment done. I put the windows in, did the trim. And so much more. And I did, I did some stuff. Did some stuff. But it's it's operational. That That's the key. Yeah. And, and I'm excited to see it. So uh, yeah. I'm excited to see what happens and, and maybe track some stuff. So, maybe. all right. We'll see you guys.